This week in NBA 2K17, more player cards are being added to the NBA Playoffs Pack in my team. With historic playoff performance cards from Michael Thompson and Nick Van Exel, as well as current diamond cards from Kawhi Leonard, Gordon Hayward, and LeBron James. You don't want to miss out on these. Yo, yo. This weekend in my park, you can hit up High Stakes Ante Up on both Saturday and Sunday, April 29th and 30th. It's all about the VC here, so get out there and hit the jackpot. And on May 5th, we're doubling the points for dunks with house rules. So drive the lane and slam it home. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to another 2K TV postseason show. This week we have winning tips, a chance at earning VC in 2K TV Interactive, we tip off our champion tip series and your top plays. This year during postseason, we are helping you guys brush up on your 2K basketball IQ. Want to know the tricks to working a good defense? Well, here's Scott OG with your winning tips. What's going on, 2K fans? Scott O'Gallagher here, and it uh, looks like we won't be needing this. Take note, still great passer, but we're talking on-ball defense right now. The first thing when you talk about on-ball defense is we want to make sure that we're an arm length away. Look on the internet. Nobody teaches you how to steal a basketball. The general principle still holds true. Stay in a stance, hold intense D, and move your feet. We want to limit steal attempts and contest as many shots as possible. One principle that's heavily emphasized at the NBA level is to keep the ball one way. What does that mean to you? No middle. When the offensive player gets to the middle of the floor, it gives him multiple playmaking opportunities. We want to keep the ball forcing to the baseline side. As we're guarding the basketball on the wing, we want to treat the sideline as our sixth defender and the baseline as our seventh defender. When you force the ball to the baseline side and you stay to the inside shoulder, you take away passing lanes all over the floor. And last but not least, you're in great position. You see a shot go up. The number one rule, never foul a jump shooter. At best, a guy like Steph Curry is gonna shoot 45% beyond the arc. If you foul him there, you take 45% and then you turn it into 90% with free throws. But on ball is only half of the story. To be an elite defender, you gotta be able to play great defense off the basketball. Before we can go any further on off-ball defense, we first have to identify the strong side and the weak side. The easiest way to do this is to draw a line right down the middle of the basket. From there, wherever the ball is, is wherever the strong side is. The opposite side of the floor, that is the weak side. No matter where you're defending, you have to be able to see your man and the basketball. The easiest way to do this is you need to draw a line from the ball to the man that you're guarding. If you were to put both hands out, you should be able to see both. If you're one pass away, that means you're most likely on the strong side. So you need to tighten up towards the offensive player and maybe take a step or two towards the ball. When we're on the weak side, we can allow ourselves to be more towards the basketball. This allows us to get to help sooner and we can still recover quickly to a pass that goes to the man that we're guarding. We see amazing dunks by LeBron James and just long distance threes by Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. But the best two defensive teams in the past two years have been the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's not forget that defense wins championships and we're not done playing defense until we've got the basketball. Until next time, winners win and I'm out. Hey guys, Robbie back for some more hashtag 2KTV lineups. Last week, Chris Johnson won the vote and he had a great team, but I think he could have used some defense on his squad and that helped me pick this week's team. The Maori Jordan wanted suggestions for cheap diamonds and amethyst at the center spot. Right now he's got amethyst Dwight Howard and Dwight Howard's pretty good, but I think he could upgrade pretty easily with one of the newer cars in the game, Diamond Andre Drummond. Now Drummond is about 60,000 MT, give or take on any given day on the market. And right now he is a defensive and rebounding machine. He's also got great speed, so he's gonna be able to beat the opposing center of the court for some easy dunks. He might not be the best offensive player, but with the rest of your squad looking real nice offensively, you might not need that offense. Just go for that specialist, take care of Andre Drummond out there, he will take care of you. 
Other suggestions I've got for great defensive players that are recent include Patrick Beverly. He's a ruby card, but he's got Hall of Fame defensive stopper. Other cards that have this badge, the New Diamond Playoffs Kawhi Leonard. All these cards are gonna lock up your opposition from different spots on the floor. If you're getting beat to the basket, these guys are gonna stop that immediately. You're gonna get that lockdown defense that you need to win online. Thanks for submitting your lineups. Don't forget, always use that hashtag, 2KTV lineup, when you're submitting. This week, I want to see your best playmaking lineups. Who's dropping dimes for you? Doesn't matter if it's a center point guard, power forward, small forward, whatever. Give me your best playmaking lineups, and I'll pick and feature some of them next week. But for now, I want you to take a look at these four lineups and tell me which one is your favorite. Thanks for voting, and remember, you can't beat my team. If you watched last week's episode, then you know that we had the 2K Param champion Still Trail in studio with us. And while we had them here, we asked each of them how they succeed in their position. Here's Still Trail's small forward, Timely Cook, with his champion tips. One of the best defenders in NBA 2K17. Hey, correction, the best defender. The best defender in NBA 2K17. Timely Cook. Timely, how you doing? I'm doing good. All right, so you are a lockdown defender. You had a big splash in your team winning it all. Walk us through why you chose lockdown defender and what your mentality is on defense. I choose lockdown defender because, you know, I, I pride myself on defense. So I feel like if we stopping people, we get to that chance to win that 250,000. So that's why I made the archetype. Walk me through what you guys talk about as a team, especially defensively and individual principles that you may have that you can tell. The way we play, you see how we play, I press. So basically my team got the trust in me. So I got the trust in them that they in the back, you know, ready for whatever's coming next. So basically I just press the defender. I really ain't trying to let people get in their offense. And so you were basically, now are you pressuring 94 feet and then dropping back into your 2-3? Because you guys were mainly a zone team throughout the tournament. Yeah, basically my role, say, say you the playmaker. I'm going to guard you everywhere you go. So basically, if you go to the left side and Dime's on that side, I'm still guarding it. Dime just rotate over here. So that's how we just play. We rotate off each other. So for those watching at home, since you guys won, a lot more lockdown defenders are being created in the game because they're starting to see you can kind of neutralize the scoring threat on the other side. What kind of general tips would you give players who are looking or interested in, in creating a lockdown defender? I play the game based off like real life, so I know angles. So basically, I just harass whoever getting the ball, and basically, once he gets the ball, I'm trying to bump him. But we talked about angles, and angles are everything. We've covered this multiple times on winning tips, especially when guarding the ball. You're forcing the ball baseline, or you're forcing the ball middle? I'm just trying to read their moves. So I'm just basically trying to see what you're good at, where you want to go. So I'm basically beating you to the spot. So You talked about being a vocal leader on this team. What are the expectations from your teammates defensively, knowing that you have the best you know, defense on the squad? Um, expectation is pretty high, because they look for me to start on defense. So if I'm starting on defense, I feel that's when we at our best. When I'm getting steals up top, getting an easy put back, then that's when we really take off, when we get our stops. So what's your philosophy on timing in terms of stealing? Like, how do you approach it from a defensive um, aspect? Me, from other lockdowns, since they got a lockdown, they feel like they got to reach all the time. That's not the point. Sometimes you got to wait, wait on this move. So after a while, you see like, okay, do this move and stop. That's when I go for the steal. But they just be reaching, reaching, reaching. That's not the way to go. All right. One more question. Without thinking, just answer. Who's the best player on Steel Trail? Me. Love the confidence. Chris, we love confidence here. And a very rare breed of people who want to play defense first as opposed to offense. So, Timely Cook, part of the world champion Steel Trail team. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, you guys want that VC? It's time to see if you've been paying attention. When guarding the basketball, we want to move our feet and limit these attempts. When we're guarding the basketball on the wing, we don't want the ball to go where? You draw a line right down the middle of the basket. The ball is on this side. What is that side called?
When we're guarding the basketball off ball, it's important to see what? When you're guarding the ball on the wing, you can treat the sideline and the baseline as what? Scott, Robbie, and Timely Cook brought the defense in this week's episode. So let's take a look at your top five blocks of the season. This is not a miss. That's all for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in next week, especially if you're a point guard, because we will be teaching you guys how to take your game to the next level. I'll see you next time.